Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. Thanks for joining for a general reading. So we're gonna look at the um, now in the next 24 hours, okay? If you're returning back, I appreciate you all so very much. Thanks for returning back as often as you do. And if you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. And I look at criminal activity on this channel and you will get scripture here, but I'm not a religious person or a religious channel. I could come across real heavy that way, but uh, anyway, I do confess the Christ. He lives in my heart. He lived and died again. The Father in heaven rose him from the dead. And uh, anyway, I love you, hold the Elohim. And anyway, you'll just learn me as we go. Okay, I get really tired of the intro. <laughs> but uh, anyway, just like to say who I am so that you know what to expect. I'm real intense at times. I feel energy. Sometimes I feel kind of goofy in the middle of a reading because I'm trying to navigate through the energy and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just real talk here. So if you stay, you stay. If you don't, then thanks for checking me out. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, and all of that. All right, so... Let's see what's going on here. You hold the Elohim. I appreciate you so very much. Uh, come on in here and prophesy by way of Yeshua, the Hamashiach. You hold a rebuke, every lying tongue, every thievery situation that's uh, being strategized right here, right now. Catch every fugitive on the run, every witchcraft, warlock, familiar spirit talking to the dead. You hold a rebuke, you Satan crazy nutcases in your head. We ask for wisdom, Yehovah. Just come forth. Thank you. Okay. So in the now, you know, somebody really was in a place of thinking, strategizing, stuck, things like that. Uh, in a reading that I just did, somebody's crossway, trying to go within. It's a confusion card. Some people may be dealing with their ex because it comes down the channel. I mean, it's really heavy here in the last couple months. Um, this is also somebody sitting here. I don't know what you're talking about. Acting like they, they, they can just pretend like they don't know what's going on as well. This is a stalemate card. So in the right now, somebody's just been in a stalemate. Okay, just sitting there. We also have... The King of Pentacles coming out in the now and the Queen of Pentacles. So we have a match. And the King and Queen of Wands just came out in my other reading. And uh, the Knight of Pentacles was there. And there was, um, in, so when the Knight comes out, that's energies of being loyal. Okay. This is a match. If this is upright, and for some people, you know, you, or you, if you are dealing with an outside party, that's sitting here pretend like they don't know what's going on, so be it. Otherwise, you got two people here uh, that are either together trying to figure out what to do, confused, one or the other could or could not be upright, or both of them are, both of them aren't, however they're going. Uh, this could be business matters, things like that with the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is husband and wife material. We will clarify what this uh, Two of Swords is. For some people, there's just, you know, there's thievery and things around some stuff. And there's a lot of finances. Then when the King and Queen of Pentacles comes out, show me the next 24 hours. Thank you. We have the Pentacles. Well, it's showing true to what's out here. There's regret somewhere. In the next 24 hours or somebody can turn around try to figure out how to turn around and take the cups and so be it uh, there was wording that came out somebody said I lied to myself um, about you okay and somebody is sitting here trying to figure out and they've been you know crossweighed about some stuff and confused and how to come forward and turn around and take those cups somewhere um, then so be it. Then something's very much um, fortunate if you take those cups around a commitment because the Ten of Pentacles is a commitment. Otherwise, uh, if somebody's bitter around a bunch of money and there's greed and that was suggesting that as well because the Seven of Swords was there, the Four of Pentacles was there, that's greedy type of energy. And for some of y'all, that energy will go that way. Show me another for the next 24 hours before we clarify this. Okay. Well, the devil's here, man. So stupid. I hate this freak. <laughs> okay. And it came out with the truth. Okay. Well, somebody was also very angry and very displeased with something. Somebody's hands was going to be forced within some matter here. Okay. Well, the truth that's come out on this devil who's a liar, a thief, a murderer, okay, is a fugitive because the word fugitive came out. Then so be it. Um... 
a boss is here. Boss figures are here with the King and Queen of Pentacles in the now. Okay, so this is about restraining somebody when the devil comes out. It's very piercing energy, but there's truth and clarity around this devil that came out together. So at the bottom of the deck, so there's, there's confusion. Again, confusion. What do I do? Because there's a consequence around something. And go, well, the consequence is, is if you don't do the truth, you're going to get tied up with the devil and you ain't getting loose. Okay, and just say it that way, folks. Uh, there ain't no other way to go. Okay, it's just at the bottom of the deck. I'll just stick it up here. But this this truth came out on this devil. Let's take some uh, clarifiers here. Let's see what this choice is about. Obviously, two is about a choice. And so somebody is right here now going, what do I do? What do I do? Well, you do know what to freaking do, man. The devil going to come after you if you don't do the right thing. Because you'll be on that side. And you'll be the profane. You really will. Okay. This is a confusion card. And Jehovah is not a god of confusion. My God. Somebody's dreaming up something here, and they're caught up in some stuff. Somebody's out here pretending like they don't know what's going on. They freaking do know what's going on. Truth is going to be very clear in the next 24 hours. There's a bunch of money that's out here. Really a lot of money involved in some stuff. Uh, in the Black Cat's Tarot that I was using, we had a little cat that was underneath the ground counting a bunch of pentacles there. Okay, well, anyway. Show me this decision. The Eight of Cups, about walking away or some type of investments with the Eight of Cups when it comes out here. This is going to, from the Seven of Cups to investing in something that's going to make you walk on anyway. Uh, or come back to this, what do I do? Because the Eight of Cups is about investing in all those Eight Cups, but then we always see somebody walking away from that, abandoning something that could be successful for some of you all. Um, the Eight of Pentacles was there in that other reading. We've just been having a lot of stuff come out on work situation, co-workers and words that have been coming out. We have a boss figure here, like I said, um, bosses or colleagues or something's going on around your home and, and, and work is affecting some situation. Um, this is a depression card as well. Somebody crossweighed out here, sitting here. The Queen of Pentacles came out in this morning's reading. And uh, there was a wounding around her, okay? So all you people that are in the upright of this energy and you are very patient and slow in, you know, working on things and very caring and stuff like that. And there's, there's some, some crazy thing around this Queen of Pentacles. In the negative, this Queen of Pentacles is, is a devil. This jealous, okay? If this is the X, then the devil also represents a, an X or soulmate card is here, okay? An older person card is here as well, okay? Somebody needs protection from outside things because somebody's a freaking fugitive and, um, you know, anyway, the, 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 the devil's just not good. Somebody's in bitterness here around some stupidness. Show me this king, queen of pentacles, please, Jehovah. First, show me the queen of pentacles. The two of wands. Well, the two of wands was there in the other reading. The two of wands showed two people in agreement. It was with the king and queen of wands uh, in that reading, like I said. But we still have a king and queen here. Uh, which the king of wands is the lower version of the emperor. And the Queen of Pentacles is a lower version of the Empress, which belong together. And the Emperor and the Empress have all four kings and queens. So if we're seeing the side of that energy, then we are here. But the deck that I was using was showing two people in agreement to do something. There was a lot of a thinking and stuff like that. Somebody's trying to figure out what to do because there's a confusion here around some matter. Okay. And again, somebody else has been sitting here and saying, I don't know what you're talking about. And they do. And you can't pretend it away. They're stuck. Two of Wands is, I'm at a crossroad. In the next 24 hours, the devil still wants to hang on to something. He don't want to release something. But there's chains out, out here that only Jehovah can break. The truth will, will break you free from something. That's the only way you can get out of something here. Show me the King of Pentacles. Uh, the Knight of Wands. Well, this King of Pentacles has a, a lover around him. Okay. All right, well, the, the, this ain't even a match around this King of Pentacles. This is a player. So if that's what this if this King of Pentacles, for some of you all, is a player, then they're a freaking devil. Uh, or these two people are, you know, uh, somebody's got a lover here around 
you know, um, this Queen of Pentacles and they both are plotting something. The energy can go many different directions with that. This could be an employee around these two um, boss figures up here, okay, that are tied to some person or thing with the Two of Wands that being at a crossroad, what to do, because there's a bunch of money around some stuff. Investments and stuff like that are, are showing up here. The Three of Wands trading something here. Wow. So I'm trying to figure out how to trade something because we do know that last night and this morning I spoke about Yehova bringing out about bribery. There, there has been some uh, situation around a bribery ordeal and you can curse yourself. And somebody thinks that they can come up in here with some lover and bribe you and trade something. We see a devil here, people. We see a devil here. Show me this devil. Show me this devil, Yehovah. We see somebody in regret in the next 24 hours if you don't stand in the truth because there's, there's some type of a big decision here around some trading situation. Okay, get look, people. If you love your family, you ain't going to get tied up with some devilish thing that you know better. You know better. Okay? Um, the Four Pentacles wants to come out. Okay? This is greed. The devil's greedy for gain, right? Um, security. Stuff like that. Organization is out here. There's a devil again at the bottom of the deck. It's here twice. Something very nasty in the next 24 hours. And then we have the star. Well, we have fallen entity. I mean, this goes back to the industry and stuff like that. Before I got started, I had my homemade deck and the word talent flew out of it. And I had the um, uh, this little deck the Lenormand and the stars have jumped out of that as well. So something is known or will be known or, or something it is already known. That's why somebody's now, what do I do? And I'm crossweight or I'm pretending like something's not going on. But somebody's trying to figure out what to do. Okay. Cause there's something that's trying to be traded around some lover situation or somebody's a freaking player out here around this King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, so the star is something guided though within the matter. Because, you know, if you're upright, you got third party trying to play a couple of people that's supposed to be together, okay? And there's been plotting around this stupidness. Uh, regardless, something, somebody's going to get tripped up in something if you're in the negative, and, and something else is going to still work out for good, okay? Because whatever the devil means for evil, you'll have to come up in here and work it out for good. Something is around a match that is supposed to be together, okay, within an ordeal, um, whatever that is. This is healing. This is hope when the star comes out. Show me what's hidden, you will the, the grave. A debt. Well, we had fugitive. Okay, the the fox card people is an employment card. We have boss here. We have boss figures here, and there's a bunch of many around some large sums of money when the ten ten of uh, pentacles comes out. If we have a grave here, then we've got inheritance because this is an inheritance card. Okay, next twenty four hours. Either that thing's already taken place, somebody's sitting here acting like they don't know what's going on around some matter that has been traded within some ordeal, uh, or somebody, for some of you all, because we can't take away from the energy past, present, or future, somebody's sitting here plotting around some uh, stupid death situation. There's secrets when death comes out. And we're looking in the secret. What's hidden is, is some secrets around death issues. An ending is here around some secret sex, money, property, stuff like that when the eighth cows comes out. And then the fox card is... An employment card but it is my FBI card as well so both these energies and go back to that we have legal matters out here in a very big way okay and uh, this is somebody who has hidden intentions there's treachery out here because there's a fugitive that you have brought out in wording uh, somebody got hidden intentions people they do and they're sitting here acting like they don't freaking know what's going on and somebody else there's third parties out here or more I mean whoever's caught up in some stupidness the clock tower is at the bottom of the deck well the tower in the tarot is also the 11th house, which is the star card that we were looking at, which would go back to known information, right? The, the, the tower is the letter I and somebody sees something, knows something. This is also a government. So if we are talking about FBI and employment around some stupidness with hidden intention because there's treachery here and secrets and death and stuff like that, uh, then this is a government card in this deck. Then it's, then it's out here in all three of these cards, okay? If you're dealing with somebody over in, you know, the London area, 
area and all that kind of stuff, then that's here as well. There's a grandfather clock, and the, and the devil card can also go back to a grandfather. So we have an older person involved in some matter, whether they died or they're a boss and they've got hidden tensions either around them. For some people, that is that person. However, it's going to go with, with any given situation. So we want some words out here, you hold on. Um, so please just um, take this deck and you just give us some words out here. You just give us some words out here. Some type of truth is out here though in the next one for us. So I do like that. There's also a conception out here as well. Somebody's dealing with the lover here. Okay. Next one for hours, somebody going to, you know, have sex with somebody. It's showing pregnancy here. Something devilish going to come out of that thing. Especially if you're a cheater because we have a match right here. Okay, somebody's doing something here, plotting something around some lover, and you're going to get pregnant. Okay, so you lay down, you're going to get pregnant, I guess, if you're not, if it's not safe for you to love. There's some type of investments here around some matter. The X is the problem, yes. This is an X card, like I said. It's here as well. An asteroid. Well, somebody's going to get hit with an asteroid real hard because this devil's very piercing. Uh, the devil's going to be bent for those people who stand in the upright. Helping your family is also out here. Soulmates. Okay? Some people just literally just walked away from people, man. Um, a love situation is here, and we do know that the X is just a problem, but uh, there is a love situation out here. Okay? And somebody's cheating. Okay. Uh, the dark night of the soul. Well, somebody's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because somebody's around them playing them. Okay. And even somebody's cute and they're wanting to whatever. You better really heed to the great one. Okay. It's going to, it's going to cause something to die here with the grave card. Cause somebody's only around you, man, because they, they're trying to get away with something. You think that they're hitting up on you just because you, they think that you're my God. Uh, what, what they're looking at is your money your business okay uh what they did they've got to use you to get away with what they're trying to get away with it ain't about you it's about something else because this is a player okay all right an eyewitness like i said this is the letter i and it's the pictograph of the eye in the hebraic language there is an eyewitness to something all right well somebody knows some stuff out here people they just do they just do well somebody's hands can be forced from the matter then great Get the devils out of here. There was a freedom that came out in that other reading just a minute ago as well. So the Wajo is here. This is the W end of the V or the VW. We had things that like that come out last night when I began to speak and show what was in the cards. And then my hands literally uh, found a card that said something about a bartender or a bar worker. Okay, And the VW can go back to a, a you know, tavern or something like that. So we're dealing with a heavy drinker. Then we have sex, drugs, and rock and roll here. And uh, in the uh, last night's reading, we had a bunch of cups that were coming out as well and uh anyway the hangman was there in the other reading and that goes back to poisons and psychedelic behaviors and and actually a drug problem came out so anyway it's still coming out here energetically this rune talks about um a union it is here there's secrets around some union and there's a player and there's a lover and somebody's going to get caught up there's a consequence out here when the seven of cups comes out here okay uh, you can do what you want. Uh, you know, I'm just here to, to, to let you have a speak, and then uh, you have your own choices, just like I do in the earth. Okay, we're asking at the hand of the great one. He loves you enough to show you some things that are going to occur. You're going to get tied up to something, and there's a there's a karmic situation out here in the next 24 hours. Somebody's got hidden intentions. Ain't going to turn out good because when the tower comes out, it's a big fat uh, destruction. Or you can do the, do the truth and get set free from something, and somebody can uh, come along and give you some help at work. This is help in your work, okay? Somebody's starting to figure out, what do I do? Because there's something around a matter, okay? If it's not a lover, there's just somebody playing somebody on the job because of something that's going on or a death matter or something that's known or there's an eyewitness to something, whatever the crap it is, people. You do the truth, you get broke free, okay? Otherwise, you get tied up to the devil and um, you're bound. 
somebody's hit rock bottom, rock bottom here when this comes out, but they are going to be able to heal because we do see the star here as well. Okay, so this is somebody who uh, is going to avoid some type of dangers if they do the right thing. Obviously, there's consequences if you do or you don't. Okay, something's very complex out here. That's what this card represents. Something very complex. Okay, this is about faithfulness though to some type of a union, whether it just be a work union or a marriage union or something like that. Um, this is what come out. This is the V or the W. It also looks like the P. And the star card is the pay in the Hebraic language, which is the letter P. So we got P connections out here. We have the letter S. The A is out here. And the uh, M and the R. Person, place, or thing. First, middle, or last name. And any of these other energies that come out or your X or all this other stuff that we already went through. Until next time, folks. Shalom.